food loss is a big challenge in the African continent. 50% of whatever farmers produce never gets to the market. And beside the losses, we also have impacts on the farmer's income, land, and food security. Having a mechanism that reduces the loss in the fruits and vegetables through value addition is a good solution to make sure that we are reducing losses in the food systems. Globally, 2.8 trillion pounds of food goes into waste. Then, in our area here in Kangulumira, the most common fruits that we are going into waste from harvest up to processing was majorly pineapple and jackfruit. The major reasons were inadequate market. Even if they send to the market, it is not a guarantee that they are all bought in the same day. Or middlemen come in and they could buy at very low cost. That causes them a lot of poverty. Then also limited access to technology that could improve on the fruits that we have. Long ago, I was selling my pineapples to the middleman. And the jaca fruit, there is no known market for jaca fruit. I was just eating and giving some of them to our neighbors and some threatening on the trees. In Africa, if you don't have a market, essentially you are poor. Everything you do goes to waste. Our solution is market linkage. Our model uses three pillars. This is we use the technology, the network, and the market. As AgriCycle, we have made a dehydrator that uses solar energy to dry the fruits. It is very simple, reusable, and it is durable. I'm going to put them on the tray. And we are finished. Eh? We are going to put there where it is going to dry. When the weather is good, it can take two days. We decided to go for a simple technology because of the affordability of the farmers. Ours goes for only $350. Our dryers are small, they are portable, they are made of a very durable material. Drying as a preservation method contributes to food security. When you dry the fruit, you extend the shelf life. The other thing is that when you dry, you are value adding the products being dried. When you value add, you get better profits, you get better margins. In the circular economy, our model really fits very well because we bring in something that would not be into use by processing it through our solar-powered dehydrators. The waste, or the pills that are remaining, they are taken up and put into pits for manure, which are in turn recycled, taken back to the farm to applying as fertilizers. That means the output, the production on that farm will really increase, making it more circular and more beneficial. We already linked them through our network to microfinance to access money to buy the dehydrators, which later on act as a security for them to pay for the dryers. And we train them how to manage the money they get, how they can save the money within themselves and they build houses. Then they pay later on slowly through drying. So by that they keep on growing as a group, as an individual and as a farmer. I have been working with AgriCycle for two years. My life has changed, even in my pocket. I can show you, show you the money I have in my pocket. I can save money, I can pay for my children's school fees. When I'm drying, I can earn more than saving the fresh fruits. Even my friends, when we drive with them, they are also happy because of AgriCycle. We can earn more money than before. This is our pack house. This is where we receive and aggregate all the products from Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania. When we have a market, we create demand for these products. This one allows us to get more producers. When we get more producers, the system generates money in itself 
which is brought back into technology and also goes back to the farmer. And this one improves their life. So I would say it's a sustainable circular economy because one, we are not losing any product. Two, the farmers are contributing in the global food loss debate. And three, they are getting a sustainable income. In the future, we want to have impact to every farmer that can be able to be incorporated in our vertical supply system. In a circular economy for food, we need to make the most of the food that we grow, allow farmers to earn a fair income from their hard work, and ensure that we use our natural resources as effectively as possible. Addressing post-harvest losses is such an important part of the solution space for a thriving future African food system.